YouTube, how you guys doing? The Back to Mac event has taken place and I'm going to give you a recap as to what I thought, hopefully under 10 minutes. Uh, just in case you don't, guys don't want to go back and watch the full one hour trailer or so. The first thing they announced was statistics, they're doing well, retail, a third of their sales are coming from the Mac platform or the Mac, Apple Macs and so on, that's where a third of their revenue is coming from. Which is good because, you know, that's still them caring about the Mac side, they can't just leave it, it's a 22 billion dollar industry. Now the first thing they announced was iLife 2011. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to cost you 49 US dollars if you're a current Mac user. If you're going to buy a new Mac, it's going to come free. Well, hey. And to me, this is the perfect system, iLife. iPhoto has been, looks very, very nice. They demoed it. It's got some very neat features, social media integration, the UI. Uh, you can create nice slideshows. And you can also send it to a new printing system, which you've got, which is called Letterheads. It looks very nice, guys, and you can see from these screenshots. The next thing is iMovie 11. I use iMovie probably on a day-to-day -day basis. This movie you're seeing just now is edited through iMovie, most probably. Uh, iMovie, how it is just now, it's, it's good, it can be better, and this is where iLife 11 comes in because it just takes it to the next level, up and beyond what I thought. Um, the, the audio process, it's making that easy, so you can aud edit the audio right within the timeline, which is great, you don't have to click through many menus to go into it. The second thing which I think is genius, absolutely genius, is trailers. Uh, Steve Jobs demoed this, and I've got a few screenshots here you can see, so basically all comes back to the UI, how easy it is, so you, it automatically detect where a group is and you can put a group photo in and it'll make a whole trailer procedure, a movie trailer. Ideal if you're going to go on holiday and uh, you know take footage. You can also upload to, to Vimeo now, you've got ICNN Reporter, uh, the podcast producer for those of you using uh, the server edition of Snow Leopard, hopefully better YouTube integration and so on. Again, a very nice and GarageBand 11, I've not used it much but it's going to be really useful for you musicians or people who use GarageBand. I don't use it. But the main thing in that was how did I play? Uh, and for musicians that's good because you want to see how you play then it gives you tutorials as to play a particular music reading. Uh, and this if you want to keep a track of how you've done over a period of time. You're learning a new track and you want to sort of see in the past month how you've done, have you improved or have you not improved? Uh, should you bother continuing on with that tune if it's not really beneficial? So you've got a second opinion of it and it's right within the software. Uh, and it's absolutely genius. There's a new FaceTime application launched for the Mac as well for a change. So now you can do FaceTime calls through your Mac, your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, whatever Mac you have. And then you can do that through iPhone and iPod Touch. So you don't need to have an iDevice per se. You can do it from Mac to iPhone 4, Mac to iPod Touch and it worked great. Landscape mode, full screen mode and was expecting this application. I did say it in one of the rumour videos and it's great now it's out to the Mac. Because it gives video chatting more meaning. One of the main highlights of this Back to Mac event was 10.7 Lion, the next version or operating system uh, for Apple, which will be released next summer, surprisingly. Uh, I was expecting perhaps 2012, but it looks like you know they're on ball. Uh, and Apple tend to have this two yearly uh, cycle for OS updates. Very, very nice. Very um, iOS type-ish, and what I mean by that is you've got multi-touch support as you can see from the screen. So you've got iPhotos and you've got the scrolling. And that's again thanks to the Magic Mouse the new trackpad that was released early this year. There'll be a Mac App Store as well, which is something I've been looking forward to and a lot of you YouTubers and people on Twitter are also looking forward to. Uh, but that's obviously going to hit my credit and debit card as well equally. Because uh, it's going to make everything easier, so you've got staff picks and you've got all the Mac applications under one umbrella. So you don't need to go into individual websites. And this app store is coming within 90 days, which is quite nice. Uh, they didn't give too much away um, for the next version of the operating system, but uh, some of the sneak preview definitely did look very good, very iOS-like, uh, making the things easier for us. Uh, and generally, I thought you know the operating system looks quite sweet, and I'll probably be getting my hands on it next year when it comes out. And the one more thing for this event was none other than the MacBook Airs, which was kind of rumoured as well before this event. And the rumours were right. So you've got two versions, 11.6 inch, which was rumoured, the third, you've got 13.3 inch as well. The MacBook Airs start from 999 US dollars, and it goes all the way up to 1599, and that would get you more storage. They've done away with hard drives, they've got a customised uh, SSD chip flash, shall I say, which they've been using on the iPhone, the iPad and so on. And that starts from 128 gig, sorry, 64 gig, and it goes all the way to 256 gig, and that is the main sort of price uh, increase. So if you want to go for a higher uh, hard drive, then that is what the price uh, increase that you're going to have to pay. Uh, Core 2 duos, 2 GB RAM standard, 
and it's lighter as well, got wireless built in. Uh, FaceTime camera is what they've named it. And again, the MacBook Air comes in slightly in par with the iPad uh, in terms of lightweight and take it about with you. Standby time is 30 days, which is amazing. You get about five hours wireless or Wi-Fi usage if that's running constantly. You've got an NVIDIA graphics card, the 320M, Core 2 Geo processors, 1366 by 768 is the pixels of the resolution of the screen. Overall, I'm impressed with the MacBook Air. I think it's still powerful with SSD and it's going to be blazing fast. Irrespective of whether they've you know, still got the Core 2 Geos, I think it's going to be plenty powerful. Uh, the price point, I think, is just bang on. Still waiting for the UK prices to be revealed. But, you know, what was, this, what was the main thing coming out of this event for yourself? What are you going to be getting? Are you going to be getting the MacBook Airs? Which one? Why? Is it going to replace the current thing? Or are you maybe perhaps in a situation where you're thinking, okay, I'm going to ditch my iPad and get one of these MacBook Airs because that would be, a bit, I mean, you know, interesting. Um, what I'm going to be personally getting so far, I think it's definitely going to be iLife because that is something that I use a lot. We'll be getting line when it comes out next year because OS is something that is integral to you know day-to-day -day usage for myself and any tweaks. Uh, I'll probably have a Snow Leopard running on one side and line until line is, you know, fully fletched and fully been tested and so on. But the amazing thing about Apple is the deal with that testing, you know, well before the OS release, so the App Store for the Mac, it's coming out in 90 days, so by the time Line is released next year, uh, they've got at least, you know, a couple of things already covered and, uh, you know, developed. Uh, but yeah, leave a comments, guys below and uh, definitely a fantastic event today, one of the best ones in a few months, or better than the last two anyway. But yeah, leave a comment below guys and thanks for watching, cheers.